last week on Downfall. First grade teacher Eric Persek came to face his downfall. Natural selection. Uh, Charles Darwin. Correct. Heliocentric model of the solar oh, system. Uh, Copernicus. Correct. Radium, Marie and Pierre. Jury! He's won $25,000 so far, and to get it, he had to sacrifice a personal possession. Well, not exactly. It was his wife. Your wife likes this clock, but you don't? I cannot stand it. What? Now he's back to play for $50,000. But if he panics again, it will be his wife going on the belt. Welcome to Downfall! Eric won $25,000. Eric, you're on fire, my man. He's on fire. But now you've got a decision to make, sir. You can walk away with $25,000 right now, or you can stay and play. Now, your twenty-five grand is safe no matter what happens. The prizes are not. However, if you do play the next round and win, you keep all your prizes, and you'll have $50,000. Yeah. How cool is that? Let's check out what else we've added to the belt to sweeten the deal. You can see there's a big pair of electric motorcycles. We've got just one of them on there, but you can take your wife for a ride on the pair of electric motorcycles. An arcade game. All right, it's kind of one of those old school stand-ups. And of course, at the very end, $50,000 on the back of the belt. So are you gonna walk away with 25 grand and all your prizes, or do you want to stay and play, Eric? What do you think? Uh, do you want to consult with your wife? You want to ask her what she has to do? You want to ask her? Because what do you think, hon? Huh? You hit the panic button, she's going to end up in the belt, so maybe you might want to get her input. Listen, I still have my hope, and uh, I think I'm going to go for the $50,000. Okay. Are you excited about this? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what happens if he hits the panic button? Uh-huh. Okay. You're not going to hit the panic button, though, no, are you? No, I'm going to win 50 right now. Right now, I'm winning. you got a lot of confidence. That's what you need. To stop the belt and save those prizes in the fourth round, you need to correctly answer seven out of the ten questions correctly, and the belt is going to move a little bit faster. So if you're ready, let me see the categories. Eric, you need to make a decision. Seen here, out to the ball game, A-list celebrities, bookstore, all about the sea. Again, I am staying away from the bookstore. I'm going for out to the ball game. Okay. You want to name a Major League Baseball park. You tell me the home team that plays there. If you get seven of the ten correct, you'll win $50,000 right back there on the belt. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's hear it from Mr. Eric. Start the belt. Fenway Park. Uh, Red Sox. Coors Field. Uh, uh, Colorado. You got it. Turner Field. All right. Um, Atlanta. PNC Park. You got it. Baltimore. Uh, uh, pass. Petco Park. Uh, Giants. Uh, Mets. Yankees. I don't know. Pass. Comerica Park. Uh, 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 that's Giants. Uh, Royals. Angels. No. Pass. Bush Stadium. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, pass. Safeco Field. Uh, uh, Astro. Citizens Bank Park. Man! Man. No ballpark. I didn't want that one. That's not what you expected, uh, huh? No. But that's what you got. The game is gone. The motorcycle's gone. The good news is you still got $50,000 on that belt. Let's see the answers that you didn't get. Yeah. PNC Park, Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh Pirates, yep. Petco Park. San Diego. San Diego Padres right here in California. Comerica Park, the Detroit Tigers. Bush Stadium is home of the St. Louis Cardinals. Safeco Field, Seattle Mariners. Okay. Citizens Bank Park is for the Philadelphia Phillies, Eric. Okay. So the wind has been taken out of your sails, so to speak, so far, but that's okay because you still have $25,000 guaranteed, okay. which is great. That's great money. You got a chance. To still win $50,000. It's and the second time you've hit up. the panic button. Yes, your supporter is going on to the belt. Here she comes. Eric, 
Don't forget, Dawn can help you as long as she can, but this is very important. The answer has to come from you. So you can shout and scream and yell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you sound really pretty soft-spoken. No, I'm, sorry, I'm gonna be yelling. You, <laughs> get me off of this thing! <laughs> Now, you have your lovely wife here on the belt. You said you were saving a category for her. Which one did you say you're saving? I, I think I'm saving uh, A-list celebrities. That's I think there's going to be a lot of celebrities you know with A names, and uh, I think you can do that. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, you ready, Eric? I'm ready. Let's get ready to play Downfall. All right. Eric. I think you've already made your decision, but let's hear it. I think we're going A-list celebrities. Okay. okay. So you know about celebrities. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, Forbes magazine publishes the Celebrity 100. The list is comprised of the most powerful celebrities in the world. I'll give you a brief description of a top 20 celebrity on Forbes 2009 list. If you can name seven of them, you will win $50,000 and avoid your downfall. That's, that's the mission here, okay? That's your test since you're a teacher. See what I did there? Okay. Don, are you ready? I'm ready. Eric, are you ready? Yes. Let's cheer them on. Come on, guys. Yell it out, yell it out, yell it out. Directed the movie Jaws. Steven Spielberg. Steven Correct. Spielberg. Currently wears jersey number 24 from the lair. Correct. Starred the Fresh Prince of uh, Bel Air. Will Smith. Will Smith. Correct. Won a Golden Globe for the film 12 Monkeys. Brad Pitt. Correct. Nicknamed Urkel in college. Pass. Pass. Founder of Harpo Productions. Uh, Oprah. Correct. Played Foxy Cleopatra in Austin Powers come and Golden Come on, come on, help me, help me. I Pass. No. Bruce Springsteen. Performs, performs the records uh, of the Bruce East Street Band. Bruce Springsteen. Correct. Won an Oscar for Girl Up to Up. Girl Interrupted, Girl Interrupted. Once she's over the edge for safety reasons, that's the only way down, but she's fine. But the best news is you got $50,000. Wow. And she got a ride. You did it. You guys did it. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, let's look at the answers that you didn't get, Eric. Nickname Urkel in college, Tiger Woods. What? Played Foxy Cleopatra and Austin Powers and yeah, gold member yeah. Beyonce. Yeah, she missed it. You got right. that. But just $50,000. Did you think that you were going to have that when you when you left school on Friday to come here today? Uh, no. And no, I didn't. And wow. Woo. I am very happy with $50,000. Very good. Back up the belt. I'm going to add some new prizes. But now you've got a tough decision. You can walk away with $50,000 on all the prizes that you've already won, or you can stay and play a little longer. If you go for it and lose, you lose the prizes you've won. You go back down to $25,000, dollars is guaranteed. If you stay and win the next round, you keep any prizes that you've already won. But instead of $50,000, wow, that doubles. It goes to $100,000. Well, you really think about the categories that you've seen, if you can remember them, and decide if you're going to stay with us tonight or if you're going to walk away with the $50,000. I was solely set on going home with $100,000. I wanted to go home with $100,000. Mom, Fritz, what do you guys think? What does mom think? Mom, what do you think? No, 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 let's go home. No mas. <laughs> mom says no mas. What do you think? Big decision. You got $50,000. It's a lot of money, my man. I would love to go for $100,000, but my wife will kill me if I don't go home with the money. So I am going to walk and take the $50,000. That's a good job. Yes. Congratulations. Eric, you've just won a stand, a basketball hoop, a riding lawnmower, and a windsurf board. Most importantly, $50,000. What a night. Give me some love. Yes. All right. We're going to be right back after the break with a new contestant ready to play Downfall. Stay with us!
What's your name? My name is Yolanda Allen, but they call me Auntie Yo-Yo. Auntie Yo-Yo. Oh, that's right. Oh, for why? Yeah, because it's short for Yolanda? Yes, that's part of it. When I'm my nephew genius. was born, mm -hmm. he called me Auntie Yo-Yo. And so for his first birthday party, I created Yo-Yo the Clown. Is there a special voice for Yo-Yo the Clown, maybe? Or some no, but kind there was of a, a gag? It was a special look. Can we see the look? <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Can I try that? I'll be Uncle Yo-Yo tonight. All right. Okay, well, here we are in downtown L.A., and you could possibly win a million dollars in cash. That's what I'm talking about. That would be gorgeous. Yes. What yes. would you do if you won a million dollars? Let me ask you. Be honest with me. I'd have some fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. What Actually, kind of fun would you have? Well, there were four of us that were best friends in high school. Mm -hmm. We are 50 years old this year. 50? 50 years old. We're 50 years old this year. So we all wanted to go somewhere tropical and, you know, have a cabana boy bring us nice fruit fruity cabana drinks. Cabana boy? Wow. Like Would you consider umbrella. having a game show host be your cabana sure. boy? <laughs> all right, well, let's talk after the show. <laughs> Auntie Yo Yo, are you ready to play some down? Yes, I am. Let's walk down here and get hooked yes. up, okay? Come on. <laughs> now, we can't go too close to the edge without being hooked up. Okay. With our lovely Jamie and lovely Allie. You guys are experts at this by now. Yeah, you sure? Okay, thank you. All right, Auntie Yo-Yo, come on over to my office and let's play some downfall. Yes, indeed. How are you feeling? This is crazy. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm here every night. Well, Imagine how I feel. I'm crazy, too, so it's all right. Are you crazy? Yes. Are you really crazy? Yes. All right, you crazy enough to win a million dollars? Yes. Yes, I am. Give me the Yo-Yo clown look. All right, that's great. <laughs> All right, Yo-Yo, there are seven rounds to the million dollars in cash. In round one, you're playing for $5,000 and these incredible prizes. First of all, it's a night at the symphony. Whoa. Next, a ping pong table. Okay, all right. okay. After that, you got a dishwasher. All right. At the very end of the back, you see it way back there? Yes. That's $5,000 in cash. Oh, yeah. Right back there. Oh, yeah. Now, obviously, we're not going to destroy the real prizes, but these reasonable facsimiles still crash and explode like you wouldn't believe. If they go over the edge, though, so does your chances of taking them home with you. During the round, you can guess as much as you want. Okay. If things get too crazy, you can pass, but if you pass, it speeds up the belt. And if things get absolutely out of control, you see this? Uh -huh. That's our friend panic button. You okay. can hit that panic button. You'll get yourself a redo, but you're going to have to pay a price. Uh -huh. The most important thing is, though, Yo-Yo, if the money goes over, then you go over. Your game will be done. If you win the Night of the Symphony, you know what you can call yourself? Yo-Yo Ma! <laughs> Yo-Yo Mama! <laughs> Yo-Yo Yo Mama hits the symphony! Auntie Yo-Yo Mama! There you go. <laughs> so let's see what the categories are for Yo-Yo tonight. Best-selling music, popular companies, movie heroes, fill in the names, I feel pretty, cheese, cheese, cheese. That's fun to say. Foreign language, fictional characters, or car models. So, choose a category that you think you can get four answers correctly. Cheese, cheese, cheese! All right. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese! Cheese? You a cheese fan? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to name a cheese. You tell me the country of its origin. If you can name four of the ten countries, you'll win $5,000. That'll work. That'll work. That'll be good, right, Yo-Yo? Yeah. You avoid your downfall and stay up here and play longer. Let's hear it for Yo-Yo. Say, yo, 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 yo. Start the belt. Better. Uh, Switzerland? No. Uh, Greece? Correct. Bree. Uh, uh... Switzerland? No, 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 no. Belgium. Pass. Parmesan. Italy. Correct. Gouda. Uh, Germany? Uh...
Rivers. Very, 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 very good. Why did I pick that category? I don't know. I didn't pick it. <laughs> you weren't very good at, at cheese, cheese, cheese. I wasn't cheese. very good. I got cheesy feet, but you know. <laughs> you got cheesy feet? I got Is cheesy that's... feet. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. You know, there's tea. Okay. <laughs> Yo-Yo has stinky feet, she just told us, right here on National TV. I got TV. some money, though. You got $5,000, you can wash your feet with some very fine perfumes and oils. Okay. Brie is from France. Gouda, the Netherlands. It's a I very cheese-loving country. Cheddar is from England. I knew that. Well, not that one you needed to know it. Limburger, Belgium. I didn't know that. <laughs> Back up the belt, let's get some new prizes on here. Yo-Yo, you've got a decision to make, though. You've just won $5,000, like we said. You can walk away with all of that right now, or you can stay and play. If you stay, you can win $10,000. Yes! Coming up, Auntie Yo-Yo continues to battle for the big bucks. And check out the prizes that are going on the belt. Stay tuned to find out which one of those will end up like this. Downfall. We're here with Yanti Yo Yo. She's a <laughs> in more ways than one. Yes, indeed. You've got a big decision to make, Auntie Yo Yo. Okay. You've just won $5,000. You can walk away with that right now, or you can stay and play. If you stay, you could win these prizes a waterbed, Ooh. an espresso machine, okay. and a tool chest. Ooh, I like that tool chest. Do you like that tool chest? I like that tool chest. Uh, and do you like what's behind it? You can't even see it. There's $10,000 back oh, there. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. So the game gets tougher as you move up the money ladder. You'll need more correct answers. And the belt gets faster. If you go for it and lose, you lose it all. But if you stay and win the next round, you'll keep all of these prizes. And of course, instead of $5,000, it's going to double. Flip flop to $10,000. Okay, now you're talking. Okay, now I'm talking. Now you're serious about this? I've been serious. I know you have been. Let's do it. Let's get even more serious. We're going to go to the category board and see what you're going to pick to try and win $10,000. Best-selling music, popular companies, movie heroes, fill in the names, I feel pretty, foreign language, fictional characters, car models. What do you think, Yo-Yo? I feel pretty. <laughs> pretty, too. Well, all right, she feels pretty. Let me hear you say, Yo-Yo! Yo-Yo! These questions are all about beautiful people, beauty treatments, and beauty products. Okay. Okay, if you can get five of the ten correct, you will win $10,000, and you'll avoid your downfall. Okay. Start the belt. Cosmetics company known for its pink Cadillacs. Mary Kay. Correct. Fashion magazine whose current editor-in-chief is Anna Wintour. Fast. Egyptian queen and mistress of Mark Anthony. Um, um... Cleopatra. Correct. Number of Chanel's iconic perfume first Chanel. sold in 1921. Chanel. Chanel number nine. No. Chanel number 21. Chanel number 10. Pass. Biblical beauty who kept it King David. Uh, pass. First man named People Magazine's sexiest man alive. Um, Denzel Washington. Uh, George Clooney. Japanese massage whose name means finger pressure. Acupuncture. Acupressure. Um, oh. Uh, Shiatsu. Correct. Fashion designer, Mother Madison Cooper. Oh, oh, oh. I know her. Oh, oh. No. No. Okay. Wow, she panicked. I think these guys were panicking more than you were. You were calm. You were very calm. But the good news is you saved $10,000. I know that woman. <laughs> wow. Andy Yo-Yo's got some attitude. I'm sorry you got the questions wrong. Let's go see what answers that you missed. All of them. <laughs> you got three of them right. You only needed five. Fashion magazine whose current editor-in-chief is Anna Wintour. Oh. I don't read Vogue. <laughs> Number of Chanel's iconic perfume first sold in 1921. I know that. I'm a man. Number five. Okay. Biblical beauty who tempted King David. Bathsheba. Bathsheba. First man named People Magazine's sexiest man alive, Mel Gibson. Oh! 
fashion designer and mother of Anderson Cooper. Vanderbilt. Gloria Vanderbilt. I saw her face, couldn't come up with the name. But it's hard to do when you have all of these prizes and sailing on the past top of the building. edge and you're on top of the building. The waterbed smashed, the toolbox is gone, but the $10,000 is not gone. That's yes. the good news. There is some good news. Yes. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yo, yo, you hit the panic button, which means you get a redo. We're going to back everything up, but now you have to decide what goes on the belt. Is it going to be your supporter or your personal item that you brought from home? My That's personal your item. What did you bring for your personal item? I brought some of my little Pegasus statues. I have a collection of Pegasus. It's the winged horse. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. I it play reminds Dungeons and Dragons. Me I can spread my wings and fly. Oh, so they mean a lot to you then? Yes. You have some tears in your eyes. No, not real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yo-Yo, we're going to put your Pegasus statues on the belt. If you stop the belt before it goes over, you'll get them back safely and soundly. Okay. Yes. Let's see what categories you got left to save the Pegasi, and more importantly, <laughs> win $10,000. Yes. <laughs> Fictional characters, okay. Yes. You think you can get five of these I characters sure correctly? Hope so. Okay, I'm gonna give you the name of a famous fictional character. You tell me the name of the person credited with originally creating that character. Oh. Okay. Okay, you can do this. If you can name five of the ten correctly, you'll win ten thousand dollars, save the Pegasuses, and avoid your downfall. Okay. Okay, are you ready for this? I better be ready. You better be ready. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo! Start the belt! Bart Simpson. I don't know what this is. Pass. Harry Potter. Uh, J.K. Rowling. Correct. Tom Sawyer. Oh, pass. CIA agent Jack Ryan. Um, Michael Crichton. Um, pass. Professor Robert pass. Langdon. Carrie Bradshaw. Oh, pass. Sherlock Holmes. Pass. Frodo Baggins. Don't! Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Pass. Edward Cullen. I don't know. I don't know, pass. Prince Hamlet. I don't know. Pass. Bart Simpson. What is his name? Okay, 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 okay. That was tough, that was a tough one. You okay? You all right? It was tough, that was hard, that was hard. Let's, let's look at the answers that you didn't get, okay? Bart Simpson, Matt Groening, Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Mark Twain. CIA agent Jack Ryan, Tom Clancy. Professor Robert Langdon, Dan Brown. Carrie Bradshaw, Candace Bushnell, oh. Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sir Arthur Sir... Conan Doyle? <laughs> yeah, Sir Arthur, he's from England. Duh. Frodo Baggins, J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Tolkien. Edward Cullen, Stephanie Meyer. Prince Hamlet. Shakespeare? Yeah. The Prince well, who Thuria. was thinking that far back? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just... <laughs> Let it up, primal scream. <laughs> Okay, you got it out, you're calm, you all got the jiggly wigglies out. For the second time, you hit the panic button, Yo-Yo, which means you have to put your supporter on the belt. Who did you bring with you? My daughter, Jackie. Your daughter, Jackie. There's Jackie back there. She's gonna help you win this $10,000? Yes. Jackie, what do you think? I'll do my best. That's all you can do. You gonna support mom? I'm sorry. Yes. Your mom's got this, right? She got this. Okay. It's fine. When we come back from break, Yo Yo's gonna win $10,000 and all will be well in the world. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more downfall. Yo-Yo was going for $10,000, but she panicked, and now her daughter, Jackie, is on the belt. Yes. How are you feeling? Uh, nervous. Yeah, you're a little bit nervous? <laughs> Very, but uh, it's for my mom, so... You gotta do it for your mom, Jackie. yeah! <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> now, Yo-Yo, remember, Jackie can help you as long as she can, but this is very important. The answer has to come from your mouth. Okay. Okay, remember, Jackie, you can help as long as possible, but once you drop, Yo-Yo, you're on your own own. Okay? <laughs> okay. So I don't want to see your lovely daughter, Jackie, go over. She's really nervous and scared. You got to make her feel better. <laughs> so have a little family discussion, and let's find out which category you're going to use okay. to save Jackie and win $10,000. OK. OK. Is that this, Mom? Which one do you want to do? Best-selling music, popular companies, movie heroes, fill in the names, foreign language, car models. Car Take your time. Car models. No, we got this. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Car models. All right. Car you got models. it. You said that with the ultimate in confidence. I like that. The old yo-yo is back. She's about to be an engineer, dear. She's in college. Okay. And uh, she got this. You're, 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 co you're confident with this, Jackie? Um, yeah. You know a lot about cars? Uh, I like to think so. <laughs> okay, we'll find out, I guess, won't we? I'll give you a specific model of a car. You tell me the specific product line it comes from. If you oh, can name God. five of ten... Oh, she's excited. If you can name five out of the ten correctly, you'll win $10,000. You'll stay right where you are, and you'll avoid your downfall. Okay. That's Straight? I'm telling you, we right here. You get a little yo-yo love from the guys right in the crowd here. and the girls up there. Go. I got you. I got you. She's okay. got you. I got you. All right. Start the belt. Accord. Honda. Correct. Ultima. Nissan. Correct. Kizashi. Uh, pass. Pass. Escalade. Cadillac. Correct. Milan. Pass. Pass. Grand Caravan. Dodge. Dodge. Push. Boxster. Push. 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 You did it! Ah! You won! Come on, give Mama a hug. Oh. Oh, I told you. It was too easy. Can you do that? I think we got this. Woo, yeah, yeah. Woo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at the ones you missed. There wasn't many. You got the Kazashi. Was that Suzuki? Suzuki, Suzuki. Suzuki. yes. Suzuki. 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 It doesn't matter. And that was it? Oh, Milan. We got the Mercury. Milan. Mercury. Now you get it when the pressure's off, right? But it doesn't matter. You got $10,000. All right. So now we're going to back up the belt. I'm going to add some new okay. prizes. But first, it's decision time again. You can walk away with the 10,000, or you can stay and play. But remember, if you do that, the game gets tougher. If you go for it and lose, you lose everything. If you stay and win the next round, you'll keep the prizes that you've won. But instead of $10,000, you'll have $25,000. And that stays with you no matter what. But remember, you're out of panic. I know. It's to be all or nothing for you. So tell me what you're thinking right now. I'm thinking 10 grand is more than I came in here with. It's a lot of money. 25 is so sweet. Sweet. You want to see what we've added to the belt for your prizes before you make your decision? OK. OK, we got a washer dryer, okay. a dining room set, okay. and a trip to Las Vegas. Ooh. You were talking about taking a trip with you and your friends yes. for your 50th birthday. And of course, at the very end of the belt, $25,000 that stays with you no matter what happens. So, Yo-Yo, are you going to stay here with us? Or are you going to walk away with $10,000? Mama wants to know. She wants to know what she should do. Should she stay with the $10,000? Or should she walk away? Jackie, does she take the $10,000 and walk home? Or does she try and win $25,000? Keep playing. Keep she playing. Keep playing. Talk to me, baby girl. One category that she knows that she can get. And if she gets to it, Talk to me, baby girl. Play, mother. Play. I'm just saying. It's all or nothing for you, yo yo. Well, she's going. All right. I came here to play. <laughs> you came here to play. You came here to win. Jackie says I want you to play. Yo yo wants to play. Well, all right then, let's play! Let's play the game! Okay, let's pick a category. Take your time. You want to talk to Jackie and see what she thinks? What's your bet? 
Fill in the names. All right, fill in the names. I hope so. You have no more panics, <laughs> Yo-Yo. So if you don't complete this round, you're going over the edge. Oh, Lordy. Good God in this morning, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> this question is all about people with three names. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll give you the occupation and the partial name of a well-known person. You give me their missing name. If you can name six out of ten, you'll win $25,000 and avoid your downfall. Okay, Yo-Yo? That's what I'm talking about. That's what she's talking about. Okay, here we go. Pump it up. Start the belt. Inventor, Alexander Graham. Bail. Correct. Comic, Andrew Dice. Play. Correct. Author, Laura Ingalls. Uh, Pass. Olympic skater Apollo Anton. Uh, pass. Actor Laura Flynn. Uh, oh, Laura Flynn. Uh, Bill. Pass. Supreme Court Justice pass. John Paul. Pass. Poet Elizabeth Barrett. Bart Barrett. Bart Barney Barrett. Uh, ba Elizabeth Barrett. Bar no. Author Laura Ingalls. Oh! Oh! Pass! Skater Apollo oh, Anton. Anton. Oh! Oh! Pass! Come on, yo yo! Actor Laura Ingalls. Oh, yes, Correct! Oh. Supreme Court Justice John Paul. Justin! Oh! Yo yo! You did a great job. You did a great job, Yo Yo. Famous names was your downfall, Yo Yo. You did a great job. We loved you here on Downfall. The crowd loved chanting your name. But Yo Yo, you're going down. She is now a literal yo-yo. Let's go back and get the ones she missed. Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens. You got it. Author Laura Ingalls Wilder. Olympic skater Apollo Anton Ono. Poet Elizabeth Barrett. Browning. Singer Jody Messina. And that's about it. So yo-yo is gone, but someone else is going to come out here after the break and face their downfall. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Coming up, Bridget the Wonder Woman is going for a slew of new prizes, including one million dollars. Bridget, where are you from? I actually live in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah. Really? Yes, a big cheer for Colorado. And what do you do in Colorado? I'm actually a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids. Three kids? Yeah. I have a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. You have three kids less than four years old? Yeah. Wow. You're right. You're like super mom. I try to be. You can, like, fly. I, I, yeah. Well, we my nickname's Wonder Woman, so. Oh, okay, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Well, we don't want to see you fly today because here you are, <laughs> Wonder Woman, Wonder Mom, on top of the 100-foot skyscraper. <laughs> Man. So let me ask you a question. Why would a stay-at-home mom of three want to come and face the belt tonight? Well, I actually want to win a lot of money because okay. I want a bigger but house. A bigger house. Sleeps in our walk-in closet because we oh, only have two extra she bedrooms. Needs a room. So yeah, she, she needs a bigger needs a room. house. That's what you're gonna do with the money. And then, uh, of course, I want to take my kids on a vacation. So. Ah, very nice. If you win one million dollars in cash tonight, you can have as many nannies as you want. You can give your daughter a room so big that she has her own walk-in closet, and we can make that happen tonight right here on Downfall. Are you ready to play? Let's go get hooked up. Come on. 
We have to get hooked up before we can even get on the podium. We got Jamie and Ali, our tetherers extraordinaire. You guys look really nice. I like the outfit. You look like secret agents. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we're all hooked up. You ready to play some downfall? Yes. Let's get on the podium. Stay away from the edge. Just as before, there are seven rounds to the million dollars. In round one, you're playing for $5,000 cash and these incredible prizes. We have first a year's worth of soda, a desktop computer with a scanner and a printer. And at the back there, we have a collection of small kitchen appliances. Definitely can use the microwave. Yeah, you might, your, your nanny, your husband can use those. And at the very back of the line, the most important thing of all, $5,000 cash. Obviously, we're not going to destroy the real prizes, but these replicas still crash, explode, fizz up in a mound of carbonation. But if they go over the edge, so are your chances of taking them home with you, okay? The last thing is, if the money goes over, so do you. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> Wonder Woman says it's not going to happen. <laughs> so, Bridget, here's the categories for your game. Each category has 10 questions. Start with sports glossary, these United States, you're my hero, TV theme songs, super supermodels, stock symbols, pop music, character creators, and world capitals. I'm going to go for these United States. That's very smart. How well do you know your country, Bridget? I think I know it pretty good. Well, that's good, because I'm going to ask you a quick question about the U.S. If you answer four of the ten questions correctly, you win $5,000, you'll avoid your downfall, and you'll stay up here with me. Okay. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes. Are you ready to see Wonder Mom do her thing? Start the belt. First U.S. First Lady. Martha Washington. Correct. Year the Civil War ended. Uh, pass. Largest island in area Hawaii. in the U.S. Correct. Wrote the lyrics to Star Spangled Banner. Pass. Most common last name from 2000 U.S. Census. Smith. Correct. U.S. National Street. Uh -oh. Correct. You stopped the belt. Uh -oh. Wow. The soda toppled over the edge. But you still got two of them right there. That's one for you, one for me. Let's see the questions that you did not get. Year the Civil War ended. 1867? I guess 1865. Oh. Wrote the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner. Francis Scott Key. No clue. Bridget, you did it. Five Your kids are going to be so proud of you. You get to keep the computer, the printer. You get to keep the microwave, which you wanted for your husband, Natty. Back up the belt. Let's get some new prizes on there. Bridget, but before we can move on, you have to make a decision. You need to be honest with me. You get to keep the prizes, the $5,000, if you go home right now. Or you can take a chance. We'll put some new prizes on the belt, and you have the chance to win $10,000 in cash. But before you decide, I have to warn you. If you go for it and lose, you lose everything. You know it's what? all gone. I'm definitely going for it. Okay. I'm definitely going for 10,000. You got some confidence? I We're going to find out just how much confidence and how smart Bridget is. We're going to find out right after the break, right here on Downfall. Stay with us. Just won $5,000. We want to see you go further in the game. And what's at stake is these wonderful prizes right here. The treadmill, the karaoke machine, do you sing? Yeah, well, I don't sing, but I could definitely use the treadmill. Since treadmill. I've had three kids in four years, I'm definitely very active and I love to work out. Okay, you want to get toned up? Well, I'm trying. Okay. We also have a snow cone machine. Every kid loves a snow cone. My kids would love that. But at the very I end of the belt, $10,000. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's get to it. Here are the categories that you've got left, Bridget. Once again, sports glossary, you're my hero, TV theme songs, super supermodels, stock symbols, pop music, character creators, and world capitals. The audience is listening. I'm okay. go Take you. your time. Super supermodels. <laughs> All right, super supermodels. I'm going to give you a clue about a world-famous supermodel. You tell me who I'm talking about. If you can name five of the ten questions correctly, you're going to win $10,000. That's right there. You're going to avoid your downfall and a snow cone machine and a treadmill and a karaoke machine. It'll be all set up. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Start the belt. 
Brazilian, married to Tom Brady. Giselle. Correct. Inspired Billy Joel's Uptown Christy Girl. Christy Brinkley. Correct. Emmy winner for her talk show. Naomi Campbell, Tyra Banks. Correct. German, married Heidi to Steele. Correct. Was engaged to magician David Copperfield. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Pass. Married Sorry. to Mr. Gear. Um, Sunny Crawford. Correct. Stop the bell. It was engaged to magician David Copperfield, Claudia, Claudia Schaefer. Schaefer. But you got it. That's it. Look what you did. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Back up the belt right now. And we're going to change the prizes, but first, it's decision time. Although I think I know what you're going to say. We have $10,000, all these prizes. You can stay and play for $25,000 cash. No matter what happens, you keep that $25,000. The audience is already telling you what they want you to do. But if you win the $25,000, you get to keep that in your pocket. It's a little intimidating, but I'm pretty confident in some more of those categories. OK, so what does that, what does that mean? So uh, you know what? I definitely have to go on. She's going to stay. Wonder Mom is going to stay right here. We're out of time tonight. Bridget is on a roll. We've got to stop for tonight. Can she keep it going until next time? Find out when she goes for $1 million right here on Downfall. Good night. Return of Primetime's Family Secrets starts now.